Hello everyone, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about understanding the Chiman entities. The most important entities within the Chiman Dunjar chart are the DT God or Spirit, which is the same thing, different people call it different things, and also the Chiman door. Now this is the property of the Chiman chart. It has nothing to do with any physical door in your house. It's not like you have a Chiman door. You have doors. The Chiman deity, God or spirit, whichever you prefer, governs the influence from the heaven realm. The door governs the appropriate actions to take to utilize the, what the heavenly realm gives you in any sector of your place. There are other entities in the Chiman Donja charts and every sector has its own except the center one, but they have smaller effects. The book Chimin Donja uh, Feng Shui by Joey Yap does give an alternate interpretation of the chart, but even he doesn't use this anymore. He now concentrates on what he calls the deity and the door. So here are the properties of the deity, God or spirit, whatever you want to call it. The chief is sometimes called the leader. It is the most powerful and it can really help you achieve your dreams. Nine heaven is nearly as good. It's the second strongest and I would be totally happy if I had that. Nine earth is actually very good for property accumulation and wealth and it's good for people who work like for real estate or building houses or just acquiring property to be a landlord. All of those work. Harmony, this is very good for relationships in your family. So if this is an issue uh, and you're thinking of moving, you want to find a house that has harmony at uh, uh, either the family room or at the main door. The moon is great for education and research. And if you're in these fields, uh, your home office, if it has the moon, that's fantastic. Even the front door is fine. The snake is a little tricky. In general, it's considered to be fairly negative or at least somewhat negative, especially if it's used wrongly. And this can, this has to do with manipulation of things and you don't want to, to try to manipulate too much because then you can get into, you can have unforeseen side effects. Now the tortoise or the hook and your house may have one or the other, it is good for influencing people, but it can be very bad if you misuse it. If this is in your home office or at your main door, you, you are more likely to start scamming people and that will turn out very bad for you in the long run. The Phoenix and the Tiger are both good for courage, but also again can be very bad if you misuse it. It can lead to violence and especially true if this is your front door or your family room. So, or even the bedroom of the owners. So this has to be treated carefully. Of course, there, you already have to have that basic tendency uh, of abuse if this is going to create abuse. But if you are timid, this is very good, for example, maybe in your home office where this gives you courage to do your job very well and to speak up and not be hidden. When it comes to the Chimin door, life is generally good. Uh, this is one of the best ones to have, especially at your main door. The death door is generally negative, but it's very good for eliminating bad habits. But hopefully this is in a portion of your house that is like a bathroom or a storeroom or a laundry room, someplace that isn't important. It would actually be okay to have this in a family room. Um, it's not the best, but since that's not an important room, it's okay. Open door is fantastic for career. So if you're having trouble with your career and you can find a place with the main door or your home office with the open door, very good. The close or delusion door, it's some people call it one, others call it the other. This is good for research, 
research and keeping hidden from negative people. So if you are living in a neighborhood that is like borderline or there's a fair amount of crime, if you can find a place with the delusion door at the main door, you're less likely to be broken into. And I've actually seen this happen in real life. Now the fear door is not so good. It tends to create fear and reclusiveness, and that is generally negative for your career and, and your life in general. The harm door is good for someone in sales, but of course it can be used negatively. So if, for example, you had the hook and the harm door at your main door or in your home office, you have to have an extremely strong moral compass not to scam people. You're just going to fall into this without trying unless you really, really have strong moral fiber and don't want to do that. The scenery door is actually quite good. Uh, it's good for having people notice you at work. Uh, this is really good for actors and politicians and, and people that are out in the public more. And the rest door is great for families. Uh, and if Again, if you're having issues with the harmony, harmony in the family, this is the door you want. Now, one of the biggest uh, um, things that you need to look at is you need to look at the Chiman entities at your main door, because that will infect the entire household. So all Chiman doors are potentially useful, except perhaps the death door unless you need to break a very, very bad habit. But in breaking that habit, you will experience a lot of difficulty. But if it's like a habit of drug addiction, this is where you'll hit rock bottom. Now, assuming you're able to keep the house, but most people who hit rock bottom end up homeless. But if you could keep the house, once you've broken the habit, then you either need to move or move the door to a different location. The deities of chief, nine heavens, earth, harmony, and moon in general are quite good. Uh, and they are even better for certain professions. And I think you can understand from the last few slides which professions are better off with particular doors. So that's basically it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact me here if you have any questions or visit my ad-free website. And if you subscribe, there will be regular new videos and maybe some monthly or annual videos. I haven't decided yet. Thank you again for watching.